Yes, congrats on the announcement of the announcement of uh, 2024, Mr. President. So exciting. <laughs> well, one outstanding item we have is uh, the statement wishing Speaker Pelosi and her family well after the attack. No, I know you don't want to do it. Uh, it just seems like if we're running on crime, we should be able to say, don't do crime. Sure, Herschel Walker is still polling well, despite all the abortions. Um, you were right. <laughs> Republicans don't actually care about that. Fetterman is still leading in Pennsylvania, but Dr. Oz is closing the gap after the debate, which is great. No, I won't thank God, because I don't think that's how God works. Greg Abbott is ahead 13 points, so it seems like sending those migrants up north was the right move. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you see that the guy who attacked Paul Pelosi was here illegally? So, all the more reason to get that statement out. <laughs> he is from Canada. I know how that's different from Mexico. You don't have to say that. Let me check. No, Elon has not reinstated you on Twitter. He probably fired that department. <laughs> I'll email him again. One more pitch. I'm sending thoughts and prayers to Speaker Pelosi and her family. It'll be like after a school shooting. It doesn't actually mean anything. Oh God, I feel like I'm starting to be conscious about all this. What? Sorry, no, I thought I was on mute. No, the jobs report isn't good for us, but it is good for the country. So that's something, right, Mr. President? Right? Right?